Welcome back to the Auto Insider, where you come to find out what's new, what's hot, and what's not in the automotive industry. This week, we have this 2022 Subaru WRX. This has a 2.4 liter turbocharged Boxster engine. We're talking about 271 horsepower going to all four wheels. There have been a few updates for 2022. Let's not waste any time, let's check them out. Most notably, all new for this fifth generation rally bread icon, you have the 271 horsepower, 2.4 liter turbocharged Boxer engine, as well as Subaru performance transmission. It's supposed to allow for faster upshifts, a little better performance out of this 2.4 liter four cylinder. And while it's highly unlikely you'll win any hearts with this dual exhaust, the driving and handling just may. And driving and handling is where this WRX really does best. While I'd like to see the STI come back and you can only get the GT version of WRX in an automatic transmission, this six-speed manual gearbox made it to this 2.4 liter turbocharged really gets your hairs on your arms standing. It's a ride that you can't wait to take every day. If you have one of these roads in your neighborhood, you know exactly what I mean. The upshifts are quick. The steering is precise. You almost feel at one with the road in this WRX. And even more so when we're looking at inclement weather like this. When you have the punding on the road, this asymmetrical all wheel drive delivers power to the tire that has the most traction and keeps this vehicle firmly planted in its lane. And on days like this, it's even more exciting to drive around this WRX. But now to the practicality and functionality of the WRX. The infotainment system has been upgraded. You have this huge touch screen with all these different apps and functions here. You can change it, create it, make it do the things you want it to do, but you can also get all the information about your car, your radio stations, the safety features, safety devices, things of that nature. I like the fact that there are also knobs and buttons that allow you to not have to use that touchscreen function if you don't want to. But for the millennials, the Gen Xers, I think they'll love this touchscreen interface. Well, what about practicality? One might argue that this WRX could qualify as a small family car. There's decent leg room here on the second row. You have USB charging ports for young ones who may be riding around here. And if you are a family person and you need to carry around odd shaped items to get those kids where they have to go, you have 60, 40 folding second row seats. So Subaru has you covered there too. But that's about where the practicality ends. Even though the WRX has been toned down some from the STI model that we came to know and love, there are still a lot of extras here, plastic cladding that some may find not so aesthetically pleasing. We found actually as a breath of fresh air. Subaru took what could have just been a boring sedan and made it something at least visually appealing. And then not just visual, this hood scoop here on the hood really does force more air into this 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine. And whether you love the plastic cladding and the add-ons here, it's not a bad looking car from the profile. I actually think it's a rather nice looking vehicle. Maybe getting rid of that big wing on the back with the STI was good for the WRX. Anyway, if you're considering a small four-door sedan, whether you're a family person or not, this WRX can fill a lot of roles for a lot of people. So the moment of truth, is the WRX from Subaru hot or not for 2022? While we would like to have seen the STI remain in the mix for the 2022 model year, and we don't recommend the GT because who wants a sports sedan with a CVT transmission? Our money will go to the premium package like on our tester. Keep the six-speed gearbox, give up some of the safety features, and have a car that still inspires while at the same time offers a little practicality for your daily use. 
For more of the Auto Insider, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and download the SoundCloud app and listen to all of our reviews in their entirety. Until next week, I'm Daryl Killian for the Auto Insider.